All right, so we are going to we're going to solve a system by graphing, and you might get something like this in your assignment. You might get a question that says y equals 3x squared plus 5x minus 1, y equals negative x squared plus 2x plus 1. You might get that on your assignment. You also might see it where it is already substituted, where they're equal to each other. So you might see it either way. If you have it where they're both y equals, you could set them to equal to each other and solve it by substitution. If they are already equal to each other, you could separate them and do what we're about to do on the graphing calculator. So if you haven't written down y equals 3x squared plus 5x minus 6, you might want to write that down because these are your notes. Okay, when you have that written down, you need to go to your graphing calculator. Turn it on. Go to y equals. And when you go to y equals, type in the two equations that we just wrote on our paper. Type in the two equations that we just wrote on our paper. You're typing these in y equals. The equations should be on your paper if you can't see very well. Let me help in there if you want to. Help them know where he's looking. Oh, there's two graphs. Yeah. I, I only saw one. Okay, once I have this typed in, this would be something that you might want to write down so that you remember it. Once you have it typed in, to fix your window, if you want a standard window, you're going to hit zoom. Six, that's the standard window. Zoom, six, that's the standard window. Zoom, and then six. I don't know what you were graphing before, but it might not be a nice window. After you graphed these equations, check to make sure yours look like mine. If they don't look like mine, possibly you typed it in wrong, or your window's weird. So once you've typed these in, check to make sure they look like mine. How many times do these two graphs cross each other? Two. Twice. Twice. That means I'm going to have two answers. I have two answers. All right. Now, when you look at the original question, if your original question was set up this way, you're going to have two ordered pairs. <coughs> Because um, on that uh, on the on the right side of my notes, we're solving for x's and y's. But the way that they wrote the example, if you look all the way across, there's only one variable. So this time we would only be solving for x. And I've given you both kinds in your assignment. I've given you some where you're only solving for x. And I've given you some where you're solving x and y, but you have to write the ordered pair. The calculator will um, give you both answers, either. You just have to know which one to use. So we're going to go back to our calculator. And this is the steps that I was saying you might want to write down. To find where the two graphs intersect, 
we're going to go to second trace, which is the calc side, second trace. And we're trying to find where the two graphs intersect. So you look, it's choice five. Intersect, choice five, intersect. Now here is where I had to re-explain this over and over again. So let's do a good job of listening the first time. Your calculator is saying first curve. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this just so you understand why it says this. I'm gonna throw in a third equation. And then I'm going to do x plus 6. Okay. I'm just throwing in a third equation. Okay. Now, when it says first curve, your calculator does not know what two curves you're trying to find the intersection of. So you have to tell your calculator, I'm trying to find it between the blue and the red one. You have to tell your calculator that. <coughs> So when I have three things graphed, it doesn't know which two I'm looking at, even if I only have two. So you have to tell it. So when it says first curve, okay, I'm on the blue one, I'm going to hit enter. Then it says second curve. Do I want the red one now? I need to make sure my little, my little cursor thing is on the red one, which it definitely is, so I'm going to hit enter. Then it says guess. And how many times do these two curves cross? Those. Two. So I have to tell the calculator to only look at one of them because it can only do one at a time. So I'm going to use my cursor and I'm going to go close to the left one. You see I moved my cursor over and I have to tell my calculator yes this is where we're going to get so enter. And then it will tell me where they intersect. Uh, in your homework, it's having you round to two decimal places. So x would be approximately negative 1.18. But there are two answers. So I'm going to use fancy brackets, and I'm going to put them both in set notation. I have to redo all my steps to find the second one. So I'm going to re-go through all the steps again. If you didn't get it the first time, going through all the steps again. So I'm going to go to second trace. And I'm trying to find where the two graphs cross. So we choose intersect. First curve. Is it sitting on the blue one? Yes. Now is it on the red one? Yes. My yeses were enters. Enter. And then I'm now trying to find the other place that the two cross. So I'm going to move my little cursor all the way to here and hit enter. And it tells me, here's my intersection. It gives me the x and the y, but I'm only answering the x for this question. Approximately 0.43. And I have the intersection. How many times could these graphs cross? Twice or once or zero? So that could possibly be answers also is no solution. Or you might only have one answer. So there are three more examples that I want you to try on your own. And I'm going to walk around and help you to get stuck on the calculator. But using these steps, I want you to try the other three examples on your paper. scientific notation, that means 10 to the negative 8. That means the decimal point goes to the left 8 spots. 
That's like point seven zeros and then a bunch of decimals. When that happens, it's the accuracy of the calculator being able to calculate this. It's just, I mean, it's a machine. It's not perfect like you guys, you know? Um, so the answer really is zero when this happens. The answer really is zero when this happens. If this happens to you, the answer is zero. I've just recorded this, so if this happens to you and we've, you've forgotten what I said, you can go watch the video and see what I just said. If you have an E, it's, it's probably zero. Yeah. Thank you.